We've been talking about uh, a particular kind of immunotherapy, which is called cell therapy, uh, specifically engineered cell therapy. And uh, in a nutshell, what we're doing is uh, for patients with uh, the most common kind of childhood leukemia who have failed to respond to all other therapies, we collect immune cells called T cells from their body. We genetically engineer those T cells so that they can attack their own cancer and we give them back to the patient. And so we've been doing this for about four years. We've treated over 100 kids this way. And we're learning that uh, it's a very powerful way to control leukemia in patients that aren't responding to any other therapy. Specifically, we're seeing that uh, more than 90% of the patients that we've treated have gone into a complete remission uh, after being given this particular kind of engineered T-cell therapy. Well, um, IL-6 is part of the story for sure. Specifically, what we're doing is uh, we're using a virus to engineer the T cells to express this protein called a CAR, or chimeric antigen receptor. And that drives the ability of the T cell to see the cancer cell, to kill the cancer cell, and then I think also really important, gets the T cell to grow to the level that you can actually kill all the disease. Uh, the IL-6 thing is a different part of the story, but very important. Turns out that most of the toxicity that we see with these patients, this bad toxicity called cytokine release syndrome, happens in patients with a great deal of leukemia in their body. We can get those patients into remission, but they get sick. And the reason why is this one protein called IL-6 is very high, and it turns out there's a drug that can control that. And so we've uh, really saved the lives of a number of these patients with severe toxicity by blocking this particular inflammatory protein called IL-6. Yeah, so the name of the product that we're treating patients with, the engineered T-cell product, has been referred to as CART-19 or ctl 19 And ctl 19 is actually the name that Novartis, a drug company which is now licensed to therapy, gave it. So CTL, cytotoxic, cytotoxic T lymphocyte 019, directed against 19. What's happened now is that the, the therapy's been licensed by the University of Pennsylvania to this drug company, Novartis. That has resulted in several large trials. So we did a U.S. multi-center trial, and now, more recently, a global trial, which is really intended to support the registration of this therapy, CTL-019, uh, with the Food and Drug Administration and hopefully with the EMA. Well, we're going to be presenting data from that study for the first time at ASH. So what I can say right now is that the registration trial is completed accrual, uh, and we should have the first data to show whether we can have the same kind of results in a multi-center setting as we've seen in a single-center setting. And I think that's really important for the field, and we'll, we'll know those answers in December. I think the, what we're most excited about from a pediatric cancer perspective is that p a pediatric disease, pediatric ALL, is really leading the way in terms of initial uh, regulatory approval for this brand new therapy. Typically, pediatric cancer doesn't get the same attention as adult cancer. There, of course, are many more adults with cancer, but we're very excited about that aspect as well. Okay.